So I just got home from taking my little boy to the park and I got a phone call from my husband. I can tell by the tone in his voice that he is under the influence, but I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt and we're gonna wait till he gets home. I'll update you then. Well, my suspicions were correct and you know, at first I wanted to blow up, freak out, start cussing him out and yelling and screaming, but that's not gonna make the situation any better. I'm in the bathroom, I'm cooling down and I'm gonna get ready to pack my little boy a backpack and we're gonna go to my mom's house for a couple days. And then I can come back and talk to my husband alone that way my son doesn't have to be, you know, hearing what's going on. And we're gonna to put together a plan of action of how I can help him get back on track. So I got to mom's and the plan is to call him tomorrow when he's sobered up. Now, normally when he's sobered up, he doesn't really remember much of anything from the night before. And so I'm going to take, um, I took a video of him that I could show him so he could see, you know, yeah, I was really not right. So um, we're gonna get through this. The best thing I can do is protect myself and my sobriety and my child. And if you guys have any questions on certain circumstances and what to do, please put them down in the comments. This was just a point of view video. This is just sharing with you guys what I would do in this situation because I've been through it before. So no worries, my, my husband still has eight months sober.